Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Vivian Powell. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi says his decision to contest in UMNO party elections is in line with his intention to strengthen the party. Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak says the Prime Minister also wants to ensure that the party is revived after suffering losses in the last general election. Najib told reporters Tuesday that Abdullah wanted to make sure that the party is on the right track to face other political challenges in the future. The Premier had also said that talk on leadership succession will begin after the Party General Assembly. The Home Ministry will coordinate efforts with the Human Resources Ministry to ensure that the dependence on foreign labour is reduced. Home Minister Datuk Sri Syed Hamid Alba says the target is to train the local labour force to meet the, the demand. We kita nak tentukan bahawa demand untuk pekerja asing tanpa izin dapat dihapuskan kalau kalau apa tu menjadi matlamat kita dan kita kalau ada kerjasama dengan majikan insyaallah kita akan capai lagi satu he says they were rope in the human resources ministry to iron out problems faced by employers and also ensure that there are no unemployed malaysians he says cooperation from employers is most important as they create the demand for foreign workers he says there are currently about 3 million legal and illegal foreign workers in the country Police say they will record statements from Selangor Menteri Besar Tan Sri Khalid Ibrahim, Parti Keadilan Rakyat President Datin Seri Dr Wan Aziza Wan Ismail and Gombak MP Azmin Ali to help in investigations into the gathering at Kampung Baru on Monday night. The trio are expected to be interviewed at the Dangwangi Police Headquarters later Tuesday. The gathering at Kampung Baru Sultan Sulaiman Club Field on Monday night was to celebrate the end of Dr Dato An Sorry, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim's exile from active politics. Please check the staronline.tv for a video on Monday's gathering. Details of alleged land improprieties that had resulted in millions of ringgit being siphoned off the state coffers will be revealed Wednesday. Chief Minister Lim Guan Ng says he is taking up a challenge by former Deputy Chief Minister and Land Development and Land Affairs Committee Chairman Datuk Abdul Rashid Abdullah to reveal the details. He says he will discuss the matter during the state exco meeting and if all members agree, then they will go public with the details. Lim was commenting on Abdul Rashid's challenge for him to expose the alleged land discrepancy cases under the previous state administration. The Anti-Corruption Agency has arrested a senior officer with the Sabah Education Department for allegedly making false claims. The officer, who is in his 50s, was arrested on Monday. He is alleged to have submitted a claim of 5,600 ringgit for expenses incurred in transporting students to Sandakan for a table tennis tournament that never took place. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Vivian Pal. Thanks for watching.